is easily programmed. Mm -hmm. You know, there's like sometimes Mm -hmm. this obsession, I feel like in culture with youth, because it's like, this is the most impressionable group of people that we can program into whatever way. Yeah. So when we have an easily programmed group or impressionable group, it's like that will always be the focus. Because if you think about like an older woman, that's like 70. She doesn't fucking care, yeah, you know, like yeah. what you think. It's like she is set in her ways. And when you get older, you just kind of realize in your awakening that you can't really be coerced into some of the things that happen. But it's interesting with the beauty thing because, yeah, there's such an interesting thing about beauty where there is like part of it that's like sometimes in love one, they actually talk about like negatively polarized entities are oftentimes the most beautiful um, because they're serving themselves because it's like self-serving. But then also too, you think about beauty and nature and you're like, wow, this is like number one God, like be- flowers. Mm-hmm. This is number one God. And then with people, you know, you're like, wow, there is like something that we find so peaceful about beauty and comforting about beauty in some ways. But then there is also the negative about it. So can you talk a little bit more about that? Like beauty, Well, I think beauty is something that we also become incredibly dogmatic. Yes. Uh, Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then if we look at women, especially, there's just so much judgment when Mm -hmm. it comes to like how you take care of yourself, what you feel is beautiful, how do you feel beautiful. And there's a lot out there about like be positive about your appearance and all of that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times when you get into these like positivity realms there's a lot of judgment for people who maybe are not actually feeling really positive about their appearance and want to change things Mm -hmm. and either either way there's just so much judgment in that and I actually think that a lot of the dogma that we see in beauty is with when it comes to people especially when it comes to women um is based on a lot of these old paradigms Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of witch wound in all of it Mm -hmm. too you know Mm -hmm. um so i think that to be able to appreciate the beauty in moments and understand the the passing of things and that everything arises abides and fades away rather than just beauty based on if somebody's face is symmetrical or Mm -hmm. what they're wearing or Mm -hmm. or that kind of thing is is really really important like Mm -hmm can we begin to see the beauty in each moment of life as well as each step we take, each moment that that Mm -hmm. we have, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like we could talk about the witch wound forever. I I do. I kind of want to bring in the beauty piece and into skin because I feel like you are... Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah. That skin course was crazy. Yeah. And I I, I was like, I was literally, and I didn't know it was going to be you. But when I went through yes. my skin thing, I was like, I really want someone to talk about what I experienced because it wasn't what it wasn't the things yes. necessarily that I was using. It yeah. was something like otherworldly that changed, you know, mm-hmm. it was it was more spiritual yeah. than anything else. So I would love to just kind of bring that into the conversation because not only are a lot of people out there struggling with their skin, but yeah. I also think the aging process, which is beautiful in itself but we're sold youth yeah Mm -hmm. every other commercial every other instagram post yeah so i just want to talk about you know what you have discovered through your own skin journey yeah i mean so i so i was telling you before i have always had super sensitive skin Mm -hmm. like any like the the wrong material if it touches my skin i'll get like total hives and things like that which I think led me into a more holistic kind of skincare and beauty routine very early on in, in age. And also it led me into becoming like a low key skincare nerd, Mm -hmm. you know? Um, but I, I really think that it's important to look at the energetics of skin and how much our energy can affect our skin. And so if we're in a moment when we're breaking out or something like that is happening, instead of being like, okay, I have to squash this, get rid of this right away, to really sit with ourselves and go, okay, skin, what are you trying to show me and teach me? Because our skin really is our boundary to the outside world. Mm-hmm. We're so focused on boundaries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but like this this is an important thing. Like our skin is our boundary to the outside world. It's a huge part of our immune system. It helps us to detox and clear so much. And so 
instead of being overly judgmental about one little line or one little bump or something like that, to really look at, okay, what's the, the teaching in here and to mm -hmm. allow the skin to be a really powerful teacher without getting overly um, fixated on appearing to be one way all the time mm -hmm. is important, right? Um, so with Skin Secrets, the course I did, it was it, there was like a few things that inspired it. One was I really wanted to talk about the energetics of skin and how to like intuit in, how to get more into intuitively tuning into your skin and asking it what it's teaching you. I wanted to get into not judging each other with each other's skincare choices. I thought that that was really it was like a little rant I did in the course, but it's, it's hilarious. Really mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you say more about that? Well, I just feel like if you if you are someone who deeply feels like you don't want to get a uh, chemical peel, right? Mm -hmm. Or you don't want to get Botox or mm -hmm. something like that. That's fine. That's your mm -hmm. choice. That's a beautiful choice to make. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, don't judge someone who is getting the chemical peel or the Botox. Like just let let yes. let people d find their own way and, and their their own it's their, a dogma their own way with things. Mm -hmm. you know? Yes. Yeah, and you know, we we of course want each other to be confident. I think that that deep down, that's where all of that judgment comes in. Is like, I love you or I admire you, and I want you to be more confident. I want you to be more confident. But we have to deeply understand that we all have different metrics for what feels like mm -hmm. confidence to mm -hmm. us, for what helps us to feel strong, mm -hmm. and what helps us to feel mm -hmm. like at home in our mm -hmm. skin. You know? I feel like there's no greater love than like letting people do what they want to do. Yes. Yeah. And like letting them choose yes. what they want to choose and letting them have the freedom of their own experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I really get into that. And the beauty of just like accepting that we all have to find our own ways. Right. Mm -hmm. And I also really love herbs herbal medicine so we get into like making your own things and how you can do that and but the biggest thing that I offer in the course which I I really loved creating was the spiritual root causes behind different skin mm -hmm. concerns and it's a whole chart mm -hmm. but it's it was a really fun thing to make because mm -hmm. there's so many things that we it's almost like somatics it's mm. but, but just for the skin there's so many things that we have coming up in our skin at different moments in different places at different times. And it, it just shows you what it all could potentially mean. Thank you so much for tuning in to Morning Microdose by Almost 30. We hope you enjoyed waking up. As always, we encourage you to take what resonates and leave the rest. If you enjoyed this trip, tune into the full episode on the Almost 30 podcast. All episode information can be found in the show notes. Make sure to subscribe. And if this becomes a part of your morning routine, be sure to share it with a friend. We have new inspiring doses Monday through Friday. Follow us on Instagram at Morning Microdose and follow Almost 30 at Almost 30 Podcast. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in the vortex.